What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Tesla stock. And in today's video I will show you first of all where we are on the price chart and why this asset broke uh, the crucial support range at roughly $205. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that was the driver of its recent movement. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you the precise ranges where we might land in order to see the bounce. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point and I've told you that uh, we had a very good bounce from the range of roughly $205 or $204 somewhere at this range and because of this we had decent uh, bounces uh, from this range and my main assumption was that because of uh, this uh, slightly increase in volume compared to this one we had a decent opportunity to see higher targets and uh, my price target, medium term price target was at roughly $288.72 with an upside potential of uh, roughly 32.12%. And uh, the less likely outcome was that we should retest this range of support again. And I've told you on uh, the video before my previous video that uh, the more uh, times uh, this asset uh, retested a certain uh, area, the more likely it will break it. And uh, as you can see on the 1, 2, 3, 4, on the 5th time it retested again and on the 6th time it broke it to the downside. Definitely it is a quite scary movement, especially if we take a look on the previous price section and we broke all the ranges of support that we had previously and we pretty much confirmed the, the uh, WXY correction that uh, will land at the lower price points. So we are at very scary part, but in my technical analysis I will show you what should we expect next. And for now let's continue with the fundamental news and let me show you why this asset uh, uh, fell down for this uh, harsh 15% uh, uh, of potential losses. So let me show you this. Uh, we are on inside marketinsider.com and this article was published just 11 hours ago and it says Elon Musk will have to sell Tesla stock to fund Twitter unless the exodus of advertisers reverses soon, says Loops Gene Monster. And uh, let me go to these bullets. Elon Musk could be forced to sell Tesla stock as losses at Twitter pile up, uh, according to Gene Monster. Uh, the Loop Fund's uh, managing partner told CNBC that unless the advertiser exodus improves, Musk may have to sell shares in April. Musk, who took over Twitter last month, said the social media platform is losing $4 million a day. And let me quote you this. Because of this $4 million a day, analysts uh, have uh, pointed out uh, that a key debt payment uh, is due in April. Meanwhile, the likes of Volkswagen, Pfizer and General Motors have said they will pause advertising on Twitter. They have a month here to kind of kitchen sink uh, things and get people to reset uh, with what their products are and get advertisers to understand what their content moderation is, Monster said. If that yields the current environment, uh, he's gonna have to sell Tesla shares in April. And definitely, uh, when uh, we can see uh, the even the opportunity for major shareholder of certain asset to sell some of his shares, definitely it drives the price of this asset lower. And Elon Musk is the biggest shareholder, let me show you on fintel.io, he is the biggest shareholder of Tesla and he owns uh, more than 21% of this company. Definitely, it is a very very bearish news uh, and I have to say it is a, a short term bearish news because fundamentally Tesla hasn't changed and definitely uh, this movement to the downside implies uh, even more attractive average prices but uh, in my technical analysis I will show you what should we expect next. And let me show you what did Elon Musk say in uh, his Twitter. And uh, just several hours ago, uh, six hours ago, he posted this. Twitter usage is at uh, an all-time high, LOL. So, uh, and if uh, it is uh, the real case, if uh, Twitter, has, Twitter usage uh, has the all-time high, definitely we might see 
new advertisers that will enter uh, this platform and uh, probably right after the storm uh, calms down definitely we will see the, an increase uh, in Tesla stock because uh, uncertainty times uh, implies more bearish pressure on uh, every asset and these uncertainty times uh, definitely will end right after we will see uh, more details uh, for the Twitter acquisition. And let me show you some interesting detail on the list of institutional investors. Right here, on November the 7th, uh, TD Asset Management Incorporated added its huge position by 210%, more than 210%. And right now, they own more than 1 billion shares, almost 1.1 billion shares in value in Tesla. Definitely, as you can see, we have more bullish pressure from uh, this list. And I have to remind you that this date is only the filing date for this deal. And the actual deal was made uh, at least 45 days prior to this date. This means that we cannot rely for 100% uh, on this data as a short-term catalyst. But in general, we can see that uh, uh, the number of institutional investors is still increasing. And let me show you another uh, very bullish news directly related to fundamentals, to Tesla's fundamentals. And uh, we are on teslarati.com and this article was published on November the 6th, just two days ago. And it says, Tesla Giga Berlin fills with rare me megacasts as optimizations continue. And as you can see, uh, this uh, uh, storage of megacasts uh, uh, definitely implies uh, that uh, they are starting to use uh, the Giga Press uh, for 100% because uh, when uh, about uh, 36 details, if I remember it correct, uh, replaced by one detail, definitely it reduces the cost of this detail and definitely it improves uh, the fundamental overall. It improves uh, the margin, it improves uh, the number of vehicles that uh, might be produced uh, per day. And definitely, this pushes uh, the fundamentals of this company higher, but it is a long-term catalyst. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, let me zoom out a little bit and let me show you that uh, we confirmed, uh, I think uh, right now we confirmed uh, this um, uh, WXY pattern and definitely uh, we might see longer consolidation phase and uh, lower price action. But where we might land? Uh, if uh, we will see the trend continuation and if this asset uh, will go lower, right here, as you can see, we have a decent range of support slash resistance. Let me mark it for you. It is uh, the range uh, of about $180. We have... Uh, uh, we touched this range as the range of resistance and we touched this range as the range of support right here, support right here and support right here. And uh, definitely this might be the next range where we might land and uh, we might have a bounce. And what should you do if you want to enter the position? If you are a long-term holder, just uh, accumulate your uh, position on every daily red candle because fundamentally this asset is uh, very attractive and in a matter of uh, next uh, couple of years it will skyrocket and it will at least double or triple uh, your investment. But if you want to catch the trade, just wait for the confirmation. And we don't have this confirmation yet. And the sign of confirmation will be the bounce, uh, if we will see this movement to the downside, will be the bounce to the upside, then retracement, and the next leg to the upside that will exceed the previous swing high. And on this retracement or on this breakout above uh, this uh, range, uh, you can enter your uh, swing trade position. And definitely it reduces uh, your risk but also it reduces your profit. And uh, right now I have to say that uh, we have a lot of uh, potential bearish pressure from the, uh, for, from the general sentiment of the market because uh, uh, the Fed is still pushing the price of uh, entire market down, increases its interest rates. And definitely, uh, this uh, might be a very good opportunity to enter your long position. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad.